Yep. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful day. I've just finished work and I came for a walk with my family uh, along the river, five minutes away from where I live. And I will try to target a little bit of brown trout. Not sure if there's any big trout in here. I'm sure there's uh, quite a few small ones here. I'm using this little lure here. It might be a little bit too big for the trout in this river. Uh, so I'm gonna switch to a spinner and smaller smaller lures. Um, I had one really nice lure from Abu Garcia Tormentor and I lost it. So guys, time for spinner. This is the last thing I wanted to try to be honest, but I only had two two little uh, jerk baits with me, or crank baits, whatever you'd call them. And then the other one from Rapala is hanging there on that branch. Ah, and there's one, small one, but if I manage to get it, I did. <laughs> Wet hand. Uh, first brown trout of this year. It's a tiny brown trout, but I'm that made gone. So a little intro. I think I'm doing it for the third time today. Uh, I'm just back at the river. I was here yesterday with my family just for a walk. And obviously they wanted to go home after like half an hour. I lost two lures yesterday. I lost one lure that was given to me. And um, and I lost another little jerk bait or crank bait on that tree over there. I checked today for it, it was gone. So it probably just fell in the water or someone took it in the morning maybe. This year I haven't really purchased any lures for, for trout fishing. Last year I haven't done, done much of trout fishing. And this year I'm definitely gonna do a bit more of it. Uh, rather than just pike fishing so I have to invest in a few little crankbaits and things like that so if you got any recommendations you can let me uh, let me know in comments below so what I've done before I left I've just tied a little little jig fly just a small jig hook I've painted it red just with a normal nail polish I always go with pike flies so this is the first time I tied anything that small and it's actually really nice so I might start I might start tying a few more not for sale just for myself because it's really exciting if you catch something, if you catch a fish with something that you've made yourself. They feed a lot on flies that are here, so they're not really hungry. We're getting them more um, out of their aggression than hunger, because they've got plenty, plenty to feed on here. Just missed one. But if I miss one, means my fly actually works. Nice cast. Ah, damn it. Maybe the hook is a little bit too big for them. If I had treble hooks, very small, small, small treble hooks. It's easier to hook them, but I've got a, I've got a single hook. I'm using a jig, quite a lot of hair. So they might struggle to actually bite into, into the hook. But we'll see. Yep. There's one. Don't come off. Don't come off. So, wet hand. That's a nice trout. Nice size. That's a nice size. That's the biggest one I caught this year. There we go. There we go. Finally. That's not a bad size. Sorry guys, I've got rod in my mouth. Go buddy. <laughs> it's amazing to get something with uh, something you, you've made yourself. I hope I was recording this actually. Because a lot of times I click the GoPro to, to stop it because you can't really pause. You can't pause GoPro, you have to just stop the video recording and then start it again and stop and start again. Um, it's tedious sometimes, but it is what it is. Maybe one day GoPro is going to give us option of pausing recording. There should be a trot in there. I also have to buy myself a lighter rod, like I said. I was thinking of Bluebird, favorite Bluebird, but if you guys know any decent rods, 
uh, ooh, oh that was a really nice trout I just missed there he was coming for the lure he was actually coming for it come on come back ah, it's gone if you guys have any recommendations let me know smaller rod maybe 0 0.5 gram casting weight up or or one gram and up whichever preferably something that I could use um, use in salt water salt water as well yep another day chasing trout I've got two two trout so far this year today I'm hoping to catch a few more so I can actually show you something on this channel I'm using my own fly again Yep, finally. That's a good sized fish. That's a nice trout. Ah. Wet hand. That's a good fish. Finally, something. Whoop, uh, gone. <laughs> uh, thanks for playing. The, um, you're supposed to wet your hands when you handle trout and that's what gets them out so quick. This is the second time that it jumped out of my hand before I managed to present it or even take a picture. Oh well. Yep, that's two. Oh, just don't come off. That's a good fish. Oh, there go. That's a really nice trout. That's that's the biggest one I've caught this year. Uh, fourth one. This season, second one today. Come on. Yep, right under his mouth. Oh, that was a good fish. Dad, that was a good fish. I cast it right under its mouth. Exactly where it was jumping out there under that branch. That was a good fish. <laughs> Hello buddy. It's almost seven guys. I really have to go home. So I'm gonna have a few quick casts where I think I'm gonna catch a fish or two and then go home. Um, by the way guys that's why I'm using three and a half gram three and a half gram spoon. I did not expect that I really did not expect that they usually hit the lure as soon as it lands in the water like that it was a good cast I had cast right under those branches that's where they usually are like I said they usually sit under branches so you can expect to have a trout on if you cast right under the branch Good fish. 
Oh, that's a good fish. So guys, I think this is it. My last battery is about to die. I had three batteries with me, the other two uh, died already and I don't have power bank with me today. Power bank was dead, so I didn't bring it. it. Turned out to be a nice day. Really sunny day on the river, although it was really cloudy when I got here and it was raining. And it did rain every now and then, but literally for like five minutes. Less than one minute at some point, it just rained and stopped. But as you can see, the sky is blue now, it's perfect. I'm happy with what I caught today. I finally caught more than one trout. So I would consider this day to be great. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to leave thumbs up, comment and subscribe as well. And hopefully next time I'm gonna bring more trout to the video. See you next time.